Hi, I'm Heather with Urban Threads. Today I'll show you how to embroider and assemble a freestanding lace mask. The design is stitched onto water-soluble stabilizer, then the stabilizer is soaked away. Let's see how it's done. First, hoop a piece of heavyweight water-soluble stabilizer. I'm using Vileen, but you can also use Sulky Ultra Salvi. Hoop it nice and taut and tighten the hand screw. Some lace masks have one piece, some have more. The Even Fall lace mask has two pieces, files A and B. Since both sides of the lace can be seen, I'm winding a bobbin thread with the same thread I'm using in the needle. Check the thread list for your design. This mask calls for 30 weight, 100% cotton thread. Load the A file into the machine. Attach the hoop and embroider the design. When the stitching is finished, trim away the stabilizer around the edges of the design. Then, load the B file and embroider it. Trim the stabilizer and soak the pieces in water to remove the rest. Let the pieces air dry completely, then iron them with a pressing cloth on top. Turn your mask pieces over so the wrong sides are facing up. Align the pieces together and then hand sew them in place by stitching along the inner borders of the center. Or you can zigzag stitch the pieces together using your machine. For the ties, cut two lengths of ribbon about 16 inches long and sew the ends of the ribbon in place along the side edges of the mask. And your mask is ready to wear. When using cotton thread for lace, you can use fabric dye to add cool effects. Check out the Even Fall Lace tutorial on our website for more information. You can also use a wooden dowel and ribbon to make a handheld mask. Use hot glue to attach the mask to the dowel. Add embellishments like heat set crystals and jewelry elements for a unique touch. And let the masquerade begin. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to embroider and assemble all of our freestanding lace masks, more designs, inspiration, and tips, check us out at www.urbanthreads.com. Thank you.